Blake's first book is Alabama Moon by Watt Key. Moon Blake is 10 years old when his father dies, but knows how to survive on his own. His pop made sure of that. Although he never went to school, had any friends, or watched MTV, Moon knows everything about his Alabama woods home. When his pop dies and their land is sold, Moon is sent to a boy's home in Alabama. He can't take it there and is determined to live free the way his father taught him. He busts out of the boy's home and takes a few new friends with him on his way to Alaska to live off the land there. Although he is being chased by the law, Moon discovers the outside world and starts to question the way his pop always lived. Alabama Moon is a great adventure story filled with chases, captures, and close escapes. You should totally check it out. Our second book today is called Queen of Cool by Cecil Castellucci. Libby, the main character, is totally cool. She's so cool that everyone in her school does anything she says. Like one day she decided it would be dressed like a pirate day. Everyone dressed like a pirate. The next day she decided it was a walk backwards all day. So everyone did. She's got the coolest friends and she wears the coolest clothes. But she's totally bored with her life. Her parents don't care if she stays out all night partying. And her friends are completely apathetic. She's so sick and tired of just coasting by. Finally, on a total impulse, she signs up for an internship with the LA Zoo. Libby starts working with some of the uncool kids from her school and realizes that they have much more to offer her than just the latest fashion advice and where the coolest party is. As she takes her internship more seriously, she's just further away from her cool friends and begins to see that their lack of interest in anything other than partying is really their lack of intelligence and creativity. And Libby knows she wants more out of life. So check it out, Queen of Cool by Cecil Castellucci. Our third book this week is called Alternacrafts by Jessica Vitas. It's a do-it-yourself craft book that's pretty cool. Jessica does a really great job of creating interesting crafts that can be made out of recycled household objects. So there's always something lying around your house you can do. The crafts are organized into things to wear, projects for the home, and gifts. Some of the projects are complicated and require a little bit of patience, but most of the crafts can be finished in a few minutes and are pretty simple. Bottle cap pendants and magnets, macro, macrame bracelets, and button mosaics are just a few things that we'll be doing in the library for some of our upcoming programs. But you should check out the book and try some of these crafts at home. I know I will. Well, those are the books for this week. And I'll make sure I see you next week for three totally new, awesome books that you should check out from the Farmington Library. Don't forget that Friday is our Teen Advisory Board meeting after school, and we're going to discuss some upcoming programs. Stop by the teen area to check it out, and as always, there will be pizza and soda for anyone who stops by. So I'll see you there. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later. Bye!